As God is my witness, I will learn how to do a proper cut crease. This looks really bad. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be another Game of Thrones one. However, it's not going to be a theory as such, it's just basically going to be a video talking about Barris and Selmy and why and how much I love him. So, as I said in my last Game of Thrones video, I have read all of the books now and let me just say, Barris and Selmy has quickly become one of my favourite characters. It's He's just incredible and the fact that he's... The fact that George R. Martin has left, let him live so long, because um, you all know that he loves to kill off some of the good characters, especially the ones who seem to fight for honour and all things like that. I mean, for a man of 63, Barristan Selmy is... Well, if you all remember back to season one, there's that part where Joffrey dismisses him from his services as the... Uh, captain of the King's Guard, and he draws his sword, and um, the rest of the King's Guard draw their swords against him, and and he says that he'd be able to carve them all up like he was carving a cake. I don't think he says that in in the book, but that is spot on. Like after reading book five, he well, I'm not going to give anything away, but he can. I reckon he could beat any adversary at his age. Um, it's just incredible, and. I don't know, like, this is gonna, this is probably gonna sound weird. So obviously, George R. R. Martin hasn't finished writing the books yet, so anything could happen. I feel like if I happen to meet him before he finishes writing the, the rest of the books, I'd, I'd ask him to, well, if he plans to kill off Barris and Selmy, like, do it the most epic death ever. Doesn't have to be a warrior's death, doesn't have to be a hero's death, just has to be a man's death, you know? Like, he has to be riding a unicorn with its mane on fire, swatting down em enemies like flies with his longsword left and right, and rides the unicorn with its mane on fire into a volcano where it explodes, and all of his enemies are showered with molten ash and lava and just the works, really, you know? It has to be a man's death, you know? We don't want anyone to like poison him in his sleep or like have him pass away in his sleep. He needs, a, he needs to go down fighting because uh, he says that that's what a knight does. They go down in battle. I think the, um, the Winds of Winter, I believe the next book coming out is called, uh, that's probably almost finished. So if Barris and Selmy dies, then it'll be too late if I do happen to meet George R. Munn, and as if he would take my advice anyway, he's going to do whatever he wants because it's his book, obviously. Uh, but yeah, anyway, those are my thoughts um, on how Barris and Selmy should die. I don't want to give away any spoilers because I know that um, there are people out there who haven't read the books, but for those of you who have, you would understand why Barris and Selmy has quickly become one of my favourite characters. Um, he just has... I feel like he has a bigger role in Book 5, A Dance with Dragons, both Parts 1 and 2, and you really see, you we really get to learn even more about him than what we knew before. Like He really is a really noble character, um, loyal to the end, and I just really admire that in characters. So um, that's why he's my favourite character, I guess. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's going to be very short, and it's basically just a fangirl moment over Barris and Selmy. But... I don't know, I just wanted to share my thoughts and, and yeah, and I kind of wanted to um, film another Game of Thrones video because um, the last one I did is fairly popular. It's probably one of the most popular videos on my YouTube channel, actually, like the view count's growing all the time. Um, thank you all so much for those of you who have shared the video. It really helps me out a lot. You don't know what it means to me. Um, thanks for everyone who commented. Uh, a lot of you were saying how wrong about my theory I was. That is perfectly fine. Um, Look, theories are theories, uh, you know, some are wrong, some are right, we don't know until we see the result. I just think it's really great to talk about what we think is going to happen, and I just love it how so many of you uh, commented your thoughts, and um, yeah, I just, I just love how my video managed to spark a conversation between a bunch of you guys. I really love that. I love how YouTube can bring people together, so... Um, thank you all so much again for the, for commenting and showing your support and everything because it really means a lot to me and it really, really helps me out. So thank you all so much and I hope you all enjoyed this video. So if you feel like starting another convo in the comments below, um, 
I'll I'll give you a suggestion what you could discuss. Um, who your most recent favorite character is, or why it could be a favorite character you've had since the very start. Um, just post uh, your favorite character, or or in my case, a new favorite character of mine, um, who was sort of like the dark horse in the characters, I guess, for me, and like managed to clamber his way to top of my list or very close to the top. I don't know it's Daenerys is a tough act to follow <laughs> for me, at least. She's my favorite character. Okay, now I'm definitely wrapping up this video. Um, sorry for the ridiculously long ending. So thanks again for watching. I'll be talking to you all again really soon. Bye.